Hello, my name is Alyssa Clark and I'm 16 years old and I go to Stanley Consolidated School. Hi, my name is Wanda and I am Alyssa's mom. It was the best day of my life, the day she was born. Um, she came into the world not crying. She just looked up at me, these great big blue eyes. When she was probably about six months old, I started noticing um, little bruises on her legs and, and um, it just progressively got worse. So then I took her to an outpatient clinic in Fredericton. They um, sent us right to the hospital, like he just looked at her and sent her up. She was diagnosed within minutes once they did her blood work and she was actually airlifted to the IWK within 45 minutes. 95% of her cells were cancer cells. She had a year's dose of chemotherapy. I remember reading through her chemo, they give you great big books, and I was reading through them, and reading through the symptoms of what may happen. And the only one I, that stood out in my brain, like even today, was one drug, which was the doxorubicin, may cause heart damage. And I remember asking the doctor that, I said this one says it could cause heart damage. He said all oh, that probably would never happen. But that was the one side effect that really caused a lot of havoc in our life. Well, we knew when she was three that there had been damage done to the heart, but it was nine when she, when it really started to really affect her and she went into heart failure. Well, I was admitted to the hospital in Halifax and it was a little while where I had one of those sick spells again and they had to get my heart levels back to normal and they were injecting IV medication and they, it just wasn't working that time so they thought that they would send me to Toronto to see if they could do anything different and leading up to possibly getting my new heart. I was 11 when I first went to Toronto. So I was waiting in hospital for my heart and it was really, I don't remember much of it because I was on a lot of medication and it's just really all a blur but I know the night of my transplant um, it's really clear to when the doctor came in and to when I went down stairs to the operating room um, and then just waking up was just a, a relief of energy and it was really amazing how better I felt in just a certain amount of time and wanting to get up out of bed and just do everything I wanted to. And she come back on no support meds too. Like no support meds. I go to school, have friends, I go out to the mall, sleep over at their houses, just living like anybody else would. 90% of Canadians need to take better care of their heart. In addition to um, heart health uh, awareness, I also want to raise awareness for organ donation. Um, it's a very important thing that we all need to look up to that I think everybody should sign up for. I'm really looking forward to being uh, a part of Heart Truth on May 5th.